So, Starling kits are finally landing in Zimbabwe. I recently got mine 16 days after I paid for it. I bought the $350 Starlink Gen 3 kit and here's what you can expect in the box. The Starling kit itself with an attached kickstand. A Gen 3 router. A 15 meter Starling cable. and an AC cable and a power supply brick. Now connecting the Starlink is a straightforward process. There's a chart in the box which has guidelines and a QR code which you can use to get to the setup process. Basically, you need to download the Starlink app to get started. Make sure you find a clear area at your place of residence. I ended up setting it up on the roof. And on the Starlink app, you can check if your desired location has obstructions or not. Then connect the 15 meter long Starlink cable to your Starlink. And the other end is connected to the mesh router. You also need to connect the power supply to the mesh router and connect the plug to power. And you're good to go. The app will help you to check if the Starlink is aligned properly and you can make manual adjustments if it's not. You'll also be prompted to rename your Wi-Fi and add a password, and that's it. You're connected to Starlink. Now I ran an initial speed test to determine the speed of Starlink in Harare using different apps during the day. But what I've observed is that so far, the speeds range from between 40 megabits per second to around 200 megabits per second. 4K video playback is almost instant. The Wi-Fi range is not good. Mine was only covering a 20 meter radius, but I'll do more tests in the full review. If you have any questions you would like me to answer in the full review, please leave a comment below. Leave a like if you found this video helpful. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.